Hey there everybody, on the last episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we took a big, 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 big tour through Gruntilda's Lair in preparation for what we're about to do in this episode. This is going to be a fun one because we're going to do nothing but fun and games and you might actually get to see me die a couple times. So, um, let's go ahead and step on that podium I introduced at the end of the last episode and let's have some fun. So, on this podium we have a gigantic board game here. And at the end of it is... Well, Gruntilda. Welcome, all Grunties is the name. Banjo's here to play my game. My lair is done, and here he stands, through all my tricks and traps and lands. This final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. The prizes on the stand bring joy, from 2D down to cuddly toy. My little quiz will make you sweat, and tootie you shall never get. Cause somewhere soon, along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Cause in the fiery pit you'll go, and I will win the prize on show. So step on over to the square, press A to try it, if you dare. So, what we have here is... Well, first let's activate this last cauldron warp point here, the, the start of one. What we have here is a gigantic board game. I will introduce you to every space as we come across it. There's one-ups and extra lives. If you get a question wrong on this board game, you lose one unit of health. If you get a question wrong on a skull and crossbones space, you automatically get plummeted into the lava. And when you run out of health, of course, you die. So if we don't need those extra health, let's get them. A a little answer, all I seek, about this game, you furry geek. So the Banjo-Kazooie um, things are just questions about... They're questions about, like, the lands in the game. Like, the different areas we went to, the different characters we went to. It's just general questions about the game. So let's step into the first question. Freezeezy Snowman Giant Scarf. What are its colors that make me barf? So, the colors of the snowman's uh, scarf. I believe they, they were red and yellow. So, yellow and red. Ding! When you get a question wrong, the crowd boos you. So, a lucky guess. You got it right. The next squares, you're without... The next squares, you're without a fight. Okay, so... A visual challenge, stupid bear. To tell me who it is or where. So, like what Gruntilda said, these eyeball switches, they show you a character, or they show you a place, close up, and you have to tell her where it is. So let's figure it out. Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? Alright, well that's Gobi's Valley, it's Trunker. So, Stinker, Drinker, or Trunker. So, Trunker. Alright, we're going to skip this over. Um, here's another one we're going to go to, but I'll show you this switch, too. Yep. Okay. I think it's time, so let me see how much you know of little old me. So on these Gruntilda spaces, Gruntilda is going to ask you a question about herself. And that is where all of the Gruntilda stuff came in handy. So, armed with your notes, which I have here, let's see if I can look up in 10 seconds what it is. Across the sky, I love to glide. What type of broomstick do I ride? So looking model of broomstick, she rides a Lard Master 2000. All three of these are viable answers because, like I said, in each file there's a random chance of getting one out of three right. So, like I said, you know, yeah, that's a secret. How'd you know? Did my sister tell you so? So, like I said, any one of them could be the right answer. The only way to know which is the right one is to ask Brentilda. So, um, I think I'm gonna go. Oops, I'm, I'm gonna go this way because there's a switch, a space I want in this direction. So let's get another game question. The click clock eagle that you meet. How many autumn worms will he eat? Uh oh, I think it's ten in the autumn. Oh yeah, it's twenty-five is too high and five is the summer, so ten. Right. These musical notes. A question on the sounds I play, get it wrong, to make my day. So it'll give you a sound, and we have to identify the sound. So let's hear it. Listen carefully to this tune, which worlds it from, you furry goon.
All right, that's Gobi's Valley. Gobi's Peak, Freezy's Peak, Gobi's Valley. So Gobi's Valley. All right, we have another Hell Square. This is a Banjo uh, Square. Just one chance to get this right, win a Joker, and help it might. So on the Joker Square, we could get anything, any type of question. And like from the eye switches, from the music switches, from the game switches, we could get anything. But if we win, we get a special prize. So let's answer it. This run of luck will have to stop. Big Ship's third funnel, what's on top? So the third funnel in uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. Mumbo Jigsaw, well, the ship doesn't have a third funnel, so... Hooray! So, each Joker card that you have got will skip one question. That's your lot. Press B to use it, you little cheat. When on a square, you get cold feet. So basically, when we're on a square, we don't want to answer the question. We press B, and it'll automatically um, move us on to the next square. So, time to move on. Um, there's another banjo one over there. Let's move in this direction. When your air meter is on the screen, how many segments can be seen? I think it's eight. No, it must be seven. Uh-oh, I got it wrong. All right, so you lose one health. So let's... Fail a square and you'll feel pain. Please press A to try again. So let's do it again. In a pyramid, some tiles you match. Who's not included in this batch? Um, there isn't a Gruntilda piece in the uh, matching matching puzzle on uh, Gobi's Valley. Okay, here's a time one. I hate these ones. Prepare yourself to take a whack. Pick this test. You won't come back. So basically on these tests, we're, we're timed to do a time challenge. We're taken somewhere and we have to do it in the appropriate time. So let's see where it takes us. Oh, it's this one. This is the box from uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, if you don't remember. Mighty big box, you must now fight, but be quick as time is tight. So um, this is where the gold feathers come in handy that we got last time. Because here we can just absolutely just destroy these boxes here. Lots of boxes. And of course we finish with tons of time left, but you know, that, that's just me. So, here's another eye switch, we're going to move in this direction. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? Uh oh. That looks a lot like the inside of Waz's cave though. Not Gruntilda's lair. There is no fire in Click Hawk Woods. It must be Freeze Easy Peak. Yep. So that um, that picture was. Oops, sorry, my laptop is isn't charging. I just need to plug it in. There we go. Oops. No, it's not charging again. There we go. Uh oh, no, it's not charging again. There we go. Hopefully it stays charging. There we go. Alright, so, uh, safe mode. I don't want to lose all my recording data here. So, um, Waz's Cave, the only one with a fire. Some some questions like that are very logical, so let's move on. Mad Monster Mansion's Graveyard Pots. Uh oh. What appear oh, what appeared from there were lots. Well, there's a bunch of flowers. A bunch of flowers came out of the pots when we put an egg, so. Here's another music one. Listen up now, then make your choice which character has this dumb voice. Ah, that's an easy one. That's uh, Tootie. Tootie the bear. Bando the stupid fat bear. <laughs> Bottles the mole. Alright, Tootie. All right. Here we have another Gruntilda switch. Let's see what this one gives us. Grunty's cute. She's quite a dame. What was my first boyfriend's name? Uh, Undead Ed was this this file. Yep. All right, moving on. Two more banjo spaces. In Bubble Gloop Swamp's marshy mound, what things highest above the ground? Um, it would be a mud hut because remember, at the top of all those things, there was the uh, you know the the huts. 
that gave us the puzzle piece at the very top. Get this wrong, you little toad. Rusty Bay's whistles. What's the code? Uh oh. I think it's uh, three three one two one one one. Yep. Whew, that was a close one. Okay. More another Joker space. Gobi's camel on vacation. What's he got at his third location? So first location is jigsaw. Second location he does water. Third location is honeycomb piece. Yeah, there we go. Cool, so now we have another uh, two banjo pieces. I kind of want to skip this one because if we get it wrong, yeah, get this wrong for Grunty's sake, then a lava bath you take. So you get those ones wrong and you automatically die. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to use one of my cards to skip it. So we press B on it and there we go. So The energy that you have found won't stop me making 2D round. <laughs> right. Your joker misses out a square. Accept the test. You did not dare. Alright, so let's get another Gruntilda switch here. I really wish I was thinner. What does Grunty like for dinner? I remember this one. It was a slug stew. Okay. See, these are really handy, otherwise you'd just be taking damage blindly guessing. So, in Click Clock Woods a big oak grew, which of these is the one that's true? So the grass is highest in autumn, that's not true. The squirrel is outside in winter, that's also, that's false. The leaves are largest in the summer, that one is true. Okay, a picture. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? Oh boy. Might be Rusty Bucket Bay, but... Or Clanker's Cavern. Oh, great. I'm gonna say Clanker's Cavern. Nope, got that wrong. It's probably Rusty Bucket Bay. Alright, let's hear the next one. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you've been? I'd... Probably Treasure Trove Cove. Because Treasure Trove Cove is the only level with a blue sky. It's just uh, just little things that you can take together. So, see the picture on my screen? Do you know where have you have been? Oh, another one. Uh-oh. Boards. I really don't know. Probably... That one's probably Rusty... No. Probably Mad Monster Mansion. Yep. Boards from the floors. Lots of them. Here's another music one. Uh, listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Oh, that's that little whale from uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't remember its name, though. Snorkel the Dolphin, that's right. Bubbles the Fish, Aqualung the Dolphin. Oh, Snorkel the Dolphin. Alright, and then we have another Gruntilda switch here. So, Let's see if your memory's foggy. What's the name of my pet doggy? Uh, let's see, pet dog was a uh, big naka. <laughs> big naka. Okay. Another banjo spot. See the picture on my screen? Uh oh, it's one of these ones. I might not get this. Oh, that's easily Treasure Trove Cove. Easily. Nice. So, five skip cards. Nice. Ooh, three in a row. Oh well. Boggy the bear is Freezeezy's clot. How many jigsaws has he got? So Boggy gives you one in his mouth and then two for the races. So yeah, it gives you three. Wow, that's amazing. Another time one. Uh-oh, it's Mr. Vile. Oh, I got this one. This is tough, your chances are slim of you eating more than him. Oh, great. Okay. Time to go for the shoes. Oh, rats, it's only game three. I didn't see that when I ate that red one. This is going to be a close one. Oh, 
Mainly because I'm kind of failing. Oh, good, I got a bunch in a row here. Ah, I missed one, somehow. Oh well. Um, come on, where are the red ones? Oh, yellow ones everywhere. Oh, uh, come on, where are more red ones? Yellow, 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 yellow. Um, nom, 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 nom. Wow, I actually won that. I was really doubting my chances. Wow. Okay, so, I'm gonna use three to skip these because I really don't want to die. Okay, an extra life you care, it will not help you, scruffy bear. Right, here's another eyeball one. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Um... I'm gonna have to look at my options. Maybe Gobi's Valley? No, Clank, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. It must be a whistle. Nope. I guess I was wrong. Oh, no! It was one of the organs. Organ pipes from Mad Monster Mansion. Ah, oh, rats. Alright, moving on again. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Okay, well, that's the autumn switch from Click Clock Woods. So, that was an easy one. Another health bar. There's another banjo space. The crocodiles in Bubble Loop Swamp give me the names of what they chomp. Oh, that would be Mr. Vile. I think it's... Yumblies and Grumblies. Yeah, the Yumblies are the red ones and the Grumblies are the yellow ones. I could skip these last two, but I'm actually going to do this one because... Well, I can't. The newsstand is where I've been... What's my favorite magazine? Uh-oh. Um, I think it's Warty Girls Weekly. Yep, there we go. So, let's go back. We have time, so... Ooh, good. Didn't want to answer that. Um, actually, we're kind of running out of time on the video. So, this has been... Um, yeah, These ones are the same as the banjo spaces, but again, if you get it wrong, it's bad. So I use the code, and when you've cleared the last space, no one can win, I was assured, by the makers of this board. It's not fair, I want to win, how I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show, while up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure, all the credits you'll now endure. So, again, Gruntilda breaking the fourth wall there, just like Rare likes to do. So which prize shall we take, Kazooie? Ooh, I bet he takes Tootie. Or how about that grotty ugly thing? <laughs> I think we should take Tootie. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Kazooie! <laughs> Alright, so... So... We finally rescued Tootie. Our adventure is over. Sure, let's get out of this dump. And now we lis listen for a staff roll of all the different critters in the game. So, here's the credits. Congratulations. George, Blubber, Andreas. I, I never really got this part. I kind of imagine like all the people that um, designed the game, they thought up the names of the different characters. Because, I mean, you got to have a lot of imagination to think up the names of all the characters, right? Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Morton, Buzzbomb, Brodskin. Buzzbomb is the name of the enemies, of course. Deputy Keyboard Tapper, Paul, Big Clucker, Machek. So, uh, this is just credits, but they're told by all the characters in order of uh, where you first see them. So we got Spiral Mountain, and now we got Mumbo's Mountain. And here we got more Mumbo's Mountain.
Alright, credits are finally over, and here we go, Banjo-Kazooie are almost home. Oh, look at that. We missed a carrot. <laughs> Alright, got him. Except Kazooie kind of got him, not Banjo, so I don't know why Banjo was saying that he got him, but whatever. So, they're finally home. And now it's time to party for beating Gruntilda. Or saving Tootie, or whatever they're partying for. So, Baron Bird did good. Help Mumbo beat Witch. Bottles of the ink corn. Yeah, but they needed my amazing moves to do it. No way, me and Banjo were the stars of this game. Breaking the fourth wall, guys. Not cool. So basically, what? Gruntilda's still there, so 2D tells us to go finish the job like we should. Which we should, I mean, we didn't really finish the game, so... Running on up. And now we're back at Grunty's Furnace Spawn, exactly where we finished. Right after the, the last level here. So, now that the board is clear, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go collect any of the extra lives that Gruntilda offered us through the game. Which there aren't many, because I think I didn't bother getting many. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we are going to be finishing the game, actually. This is... hate to say it, but we're going to be finishing Banjo-Kazooie. So, next time... The epic conclusion, the battle against Gruntilda. So, stay tuned for that, and we will follow her up this winding staircase into wherever the witch is. So, stay tuned for that, and see you guys next time.